Hey, how are you? Welcome to another episode of Character Talk. Don't forget to check out the last two episodes. Today's character. Today's character is. Today's character. What if I told you I have information about the most mysterious character in all of One Piece? I have a question for you. How many members are on the Straw Hat Pirates? Luffy, that's one. Zoro, that's two. Sanji, three. Nami, four. Usopp is five. Chopper is the sixth. Robin is seventh. Frankie, the eighth. Brook, the ninth. And Jinbei, the tenth. But what if I told you the Straw Hats have a secret member working behind the scenes, secretly controlling things without anyone knowing? The eleventh member. Khan. D. Ariana. From the series One Piece that we all know and love. Not much people know, which is okay, but it really shows that you are just a casual fan if you don't know of the Straw Hats 11th member. When Luffy was about to be executed by Buggy back at Log Town, the lightning that struck down saving Luffy was actually from Khan Doriano himself. He is actually the user of one of the most broken devil fruits in the whole series. The Reality Reality Fruit. Which allows him to take anything he's thinking of in his mind and turn it into reality. For example, if he's thinking of him having the abilities of White Beard's Quake Quake Fruit, well guess what, he now has White Beard's Quake Quake Fruit. We've also seen his abilities in full action during the Ennis Lobby arc. You see the big hole underneath the island? Well, Condoriano actually thought of a funny idea of a floating island that looks like it could collapse at any second. When he thought of this idea his Devil Fruit activated and boom. A huge hole in the middle of the ocean appeared, as well as a government island and base on top of it. He actually joined the marines early onto his adventure because he knew that in the future, he would join the Straw Hat crew and give them government information. When he joined the marines he quickly rose up to fame and became a super vice admiral, that's right not just any vice admiral. A super vice admiral. This is because he did not want to be under the five elders control and wanted to be free to do what he wanted to do. This also relates back to Garp the Fist, who Condoriano actually trained when Garp first joined the marines. Condoriano is actually also the reason why Garp chose to not be an admiral. Condoriano also has a special job in the marines and that is to train rookie marines with big potentials. As I just said, he had trained Garp early into his career. When Garp joined the Marines, Sengoku also joined and so Khan Doriano trained him as well. When Garp and Sengoku joined, a third Marine joined too, and that was Tsuru who was also under Khan Doriano's wings. And not much people know this, but he also taught Z everything he knows. During their adventures Khan Doriano found many devil fruits, but he already had his own overpowered devil fruit, so he chose to give these devil fruits away. He gave the human human fruit model Buddha to Sengoku. The wash wash fruit to Tsuru. The magma fruit to Donut Maker. The ice fruit to Kuzan. The light fruit to Borsalino. And even the jacket jacket fruit to Kelly Funk. As you can guess Khan Doriano is actually a master of all three types of hockey, and he used his powerful hockey to be able to fight against some of the strongest characters in the story. He was there fighting during the battle at God Valley and took down Rock by himself and just gave Garp and Roger the credits. You may also think that Garp was Roger's rival, but in reality it was Khan Doriano who was Roger's rival, and he just gave Garp the fame again because he didn't like the spotlight. The reason Roger gave himself up to the Marines was because of his sickness right? Well guess who gave the King of the Pirates that sickness? Khan Doriano thought of Roger being sick and used his abilities to put an end to Roger's adventure so that Luffy could be next in line. You know Katakuri, Oven, and Daifuku are all of the Mama Whale's kids, but we don't know who their father is. What if I told you it was in front of our eyes this whole time? From their physique, powerful abilities, their great combat skills. That's right folks, he did it with Big Mom. Their father. Khan. D. Ariano. Now of course I'm only lying again. Except for the part of Condoriano being the Straw Hat's 11th member that is 1000% true, Usopp said it himself. Condoriano's real name is actually Shepard and is an anime-only character introduced during the G8 arc, the greatest filler arc in all of anime history. 
When he gets off of his ship Robin is secretly spying on him, and when she sees the opportunity she assaults him, steals his clothes, and takes his identity, as well as his manhood. When you see this hunky man's face you may say, weird, this guy looks familiar, and that's because he looks like one of those hairless cats. In terms of his personality, you can call him the original Spandam, as during this whole arc his face is just as super punchable. <laughs> He wears the signature marine coat and matches it with some epic sunglasses, under his sunglasses he has the Rinnegan, that's right One Piece fans, our Condoriano is secretly an Achiha. <laughs> Condoriano is a marine commander and a special inspector for the marine headquarters, when he is introduced to the anime in episode 199, he has a superiority complex and thinks he is above the marines at G8 as he is there to inspect the place, but let's be for real, Jonathan is a thousand times better than he ever will be. In terms of his abilities he's not very impressive, but he does have a special weapon he calls his eagle launcher, which is really just a huge bazooka. Who should I talk about next? Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Ha, ha, ha.